Oh. <laughs> well, this isn't what is this? this isn't originally on the N64, since we can see through your Wii channel, so immersion's already ruined. Wii U. I Thank you. I, I see through your lies. I didn't say it was going to be recorded on the 64. When did I ever say that? It's, Today. It's not genuine. Piss off. My Zelda LPs have been on the Wii U as well. I've done the exact same thing. Go away. We complained about that too. Pretended to, anyway. No, you didn't. Pretended to. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. You imagined you might have. Anyway, Star Heaven, someone, there's something called the Star Rod that can grant all wishes. Oh boy. I Any wish? Plot device. That's a, a Any th wish. That's, that sounds more powerful than uh, the Dragon Balls, actually. Well, not the Super Dragon Balls. Except the Super hey, Dragon Hey, that's balls. not supposed to be there. Huh. Yeah, who stuck that weird thing in the story? Oh. oh, Bowser. Bowser, get out of here. Damn it. Damn it, Bowser, you're ruining the story. But what's a good Mario without his Bowser? Mmm. Uh, Shadow I was gonna say, uh, Super Mario Land 2. Because if I remember right, Bowser's not actually in that game. Mm -hmm. But I might be wrong. I don't know. It's been a while since I played it. Music, whatever though. can they do yeah whatever can they fucking do fucking soundtrack ah oh, yes you can right. press start and that's what you can do game... and welcome to gaming stooges lp of paper mario for the what 64 what, what, what on actually, the nintendo wii u what if he's actually tip for a mario <gasps> that would change the entire properties of later sequels <gasps> Enter a name. Oh. I am working on that. Stooges. <laughs> we are Legion. Oh. We are Legion, Stooges. Not that the name affects the story in any way. Because oh. Mario's still Mario. You mean Mario's Look at gonna, that! Mario's not just gonna have like four voices going out of his mouth. A cutscene. On an N64 yeah. game. And it still looks good. Huh. Oh, well, it doesn't look like complete, complete garbage. Visual, yeah. visual style can trump any shortcomings of datedness when done right. Oh, yeah. And this happens to be a style that yeah, really it, works for. It, it might be because Mario is more detailed in, uh, like when it goes to the GameCube. But I kind of like the way, like, the style of his, like, design, like, the way it looks on the 64 for some reason. Like, I feel like the simpler graphics make him look nicer. There will be t t tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope you see you soon. Sincerely, Peach. Oh boy, we better go to the castle. You know, she always bribes Mario with, like, fucking sweets and shit. That's gotta, like, be mm. some sort of... Quote-unquote quote, quote sweets. Quote-unquote. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna eat up those sweets. Mm. Well, that's the real reason he saves her from Bowser all the time. Because Damn Mario sweets. likes getting ass. Bowser just doesn't know what to do with it after that. Damn TNA. Oh. Like, every time he saves her, he must be like, Okay, time to sit on my face. Oh. <laughs> Oh man, it's never like I've been here before. 
Well, this looks exactly like right. it did in part. Well, not exactly, but almost exactly like it did in Super Mario 64. Except, yeah, they did a. Except better because the graphics aren't dated because of the style. Yeah. I mean, obviously, you can see some of the. Like, the dating, but yeah. it's supposed to be paper esque, so. Timeless. Well, that's like. Super Metroid is probably, like, one of the. In my opinion, one of the best looking games you can just pop on. Ironic that... Same with, like, Link to the Past and stuff like that. I... Just because it's, like, the sprite work and that's so good. Ironically, I think, uh... The 64 one actually doesn't look as paper as we would in future games. No one will bother us here. Just the two of us? Oh, oh. Peach. Whoa, oh. stop this. Oh, Peach. I, I oh, we... silly Peach. Don't you know? I, I thought Luigi was going to be in for a season. Meanwhile, up in the sky... Oh, uh, you mean under the ground? No, up in the sky. Oh. We're going to fly away now. Oh. Fly away, Peach's castle. Fly away. Hey, this kind of reminds me of something similar that happened in Toho. Except that game oh, came out like the, ten years later, so god damn it. To Did uh, Peach's Castle fly away in that too? I love Mario's oh, walking animation. Uh, he looks like he's just raising his arms, yeah. like raise the roof. Because there's like the concept of uh, like one conflicting building being directly on top of another one. In uh, Ten Desires, because like they built this uh, one temple that's situated for like this one group on top of a burial ground for a temple that actually is for like a group that opposes that same that other group. It's kind of like this, except it's what? in the air, and it's Mario. This is in the air, and it's Mario. Wow, Toho is the same as Paper Mario. Who would have thunk? Anyway, Bowser's here. Let's kick his ass. Are we seriously gonna end the game this quickly? It's the final boss? Yeah. This is the final boss. There's nothing you can do this time. I doubt that. Quick hack the game. Actually, uh, I, love her I actually folded arms. I actually remember that uh, Bowser breathes fire. So if everything's made of paper, wouldn't the entire world just emulate on itself? Shh. Don't worry about it. Oh, this is fireproof paper. <laughs> I can do it. All right, I've got so many options. Let me just jump on him. Ow. Bowser looks like he wants a hug. I'll give him a hug. With my foot. I was gonna say, everything's a hug. I believe Paper with Mario... With my foot. Paper Mario actually took some inspiration from uh, Mario RPG and the top mechanics for it. Uh, yeah. Except, uh... Not as, like, weird about it. Like, the also, timing in, like, uh, Mario RPG is, like, dumb when it comes to some of that, like, the bonus stuff. Oh, Ma Mario RPG also, you have to get the, uh, the lucky chant. Yeah, Mario RPG first. is, like, pixel perfect. Ow. That hurt. Oh. Ow. Well, I hope I can pull this through. Yeah. <laughs> so, Bowser, using the Star Rod power, makes himself invincible, so we can't do damage to him. 
And ouchies. But how will we beat him? Well, we won't. No. Because we died. That's a that's a force fight. You have to lose that one, obviously. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because otherwise, uh, this game would be over now, and that's not fun. But Bowser I thought every I thought every Mario. game ends in the first five minutes. Please, we're at ten minutes and twenty nine seconds. Thank you. Hmm. We'll either have to take the Star Rod or go on some long, convoluted journey to uh, suppress his powers. We definitely have to do the second thing, because otherwise we wouldn't have a game. Oh. Ow. Ow. Was that lightning indoors? Yes. Yeah, really? Uh, I don't know, but Bowser has the rod to do it. Magic. It, gr he granted, oh, yeah, it's a, it granted a wish. Magic. It's a magic rod. What do you expect? Oh, thank God. There's no falling damage in this game. Otherwise, Mario would be dead. Ah, this theme. Damn, this music, though. Holy shit. What kind of god <laughs> made this soundtrack? Oh. Uh, oh. Uh. Only the god among gods. I don't actually know Pierce? who, but they... <laughs> but yes, Beerus made the music to this game. <laughs> In his spare time, when he's not catnapping, he's actually creating video game soundtracks. Um, I'm gonna, like, take a quick stab in the dark, because at least one of these stars looks familiar to me. Um, were some of these stars in the Mario Party games? Uh... They might have been. I, think, I don't remember which I one. I think in Mario, in Mario Party 5, I specifically remember a star with a beard, or a mustache, I mean. I, uh, all these, all the games, <laughs> all these colored uh, stars. Is this inside out? Yeah, this is that. This is the Disney Pixar movie, Inside Out. Oh, there's seven of them. We're gonna become Super Mario. I don't know how to <laughs> fucking say his name, but there you go. That's the guy who did all the original tunes for Paper Mario. And this is the guy who did all the uh, uh, I'm, I'm like, I'm going revisions for uh, I'm, for the I'm, super I'm, like already like existing teams. Themes. I'm going I'm going to attempt to not horribly butcher the name. Is it Yuka Suji Yoko? Yeah, that's basically how to Probably. pronounce that. Yeah. Yeah, some names are a little difficult for me, but I can usually say them properly if I read them well enough. I mean, so you yeah, basically did all the original. I mean, once you understand, yes. Yeah. I mean, once you understand when it comes to Japanese that every letter sounds the exact same every time it appears, it's not too hard to figure out how to pronounce stuff. This is Elder Star. He's a star spirit. Is he like he Elder Kai? Us... Yes. He's like Elder Kai, except more useful. Well, does he have better drop rates? Yes. Will he unlock our potential? He will help unlock the potential. We'll need all the star spirits in order to do that. Potential unleashed paper, Mario. Oh, uh... You're awake. I didn't do anything while you were asleep. No, sir. Toad, you need to learn to, like... Wait to come in. Like, what if we were, like, masturbating or something? I already took care of that. I mean, what? I had a feeling you mentioned that. Wait. Anyway, <laughs> uh, we're in the Goomba village. There's a single Goomba family and this toad that live here. And we need to track down this star with a mustache. 
So we're going to have to head to Shooting Star Summit. Oh, the one that came in our sleep. Yes. Please don't mention coming in your oh, sleep. Oh, Star. What? <laughs> Listen, I know I that it sounds exciting to you, but please... I don't want the bed anymore. Your pants. <laughs> no, you don't wet the bed in the normal way that people say, but you do do it another way. Not anymore. <laughs> Not anymore. <laughs> it was just a phase, Bob. What? How is it a phase? He said he doesn't do it anymore, He's... so it was a phase. You're not a fan. You're a Goomba. Get it right. Take his head off and slap him with it. But there'd be nothing That's to slap. Big... Yeah. He's all head. Goombas are pretty much all head. Oh, well, all, you have to yes, do is... yes, yes, yes. all you have to do is step down them. Actually, me, because I'm a horrible person, I think... I, honestly, they all look like walking potatoes, and somehow I feel like that's what they are. <laughs> so I'd probably, like, take a bite out of one of them. Ooh, Quick, we need to cut them up and fry them. Potato Domo! Potato Domo, no! <laughs> Potato Domo! I still don't get that fucking anime. I'll be going ahead. That fucking potatoes anime face, though. Goomba. It was much more serious than anything I'm else the... that happened. It, that's the that's Grandpa. that's the thing. It's like it's supposed to be like the anime face of like serious determination. Goomba, 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 do. I didn't expect to hear a Willy Wonka fucking reference in my Mario. So Paper Mario, anything. anything is possible. These are save points. They let you save. Use them. What a novel concept. Now, I'm pretty sure whenever you save the game, like, your cartridge just ejects. I wonder... It just shoots out of the 64. <laughs> I wonder though, yes. uh, what you call it? Like, it didn't happen right away, it was like the PS3 360. I think some games actually had, uh, it start from the very beginning. Some games, not all games, but what did you think, uh, manual saving was completely, like, tossed out the window for, uh, auto saving capabilities? Auto-saving became pretty common, I think, as soon as memory cards were not necessary. So, like, as soon as, like, I mean, actually, no, even before that, because there was a lot of auto-save even when memory cards were a thing. I think it came about during the PS2 era. Yeah, that became a very popular time. But, uh, well, actually, Sonic Adventure on the Dreamcast auto save. Yeah, well, that's in the same generation. Dreamcast, PS2, Xbox, GameCube. So, uh... Which call it? Uh, but it wasn't until, like, the PS3 and 360 that it pretty much became, like, a common practice. Even then, there's still some outliers that are just, like, we're not gonna autosave, like, Senran Kagura. Yes, uh... No autosave. Yeah, which is interesting. It's also a PS4 game now, so... You know, it's one of the few PS4 games where they have manual saving still. Damn, Block. I'll excuse... How am I supposed to get... I'll excuse, get like, Me Neptunia and other stuff, because, like, RPGs typically never have autosave. For the sole fact that, like... That'd be oh, trust me, you don't, you don't want RPGs to have autosaving in case yeah, it saves no. you in a bad position. Exactly. They, the game state can be changed in a way that like you could end up in a bad place, so they never want to autosave on top of that for you, so there's always like save points. But what do you think of the whole save point versus save anywhere you want? I think... 
It depends on depends the, on the game. game, yeah. Like, if the game, part of the appeal is, like, building up a tense situation because, like, you have to go deep into exploring something, you shouldn't be able to just save whenever you want because then it breaks the tension since you can just take a break whenever. But, like, if it's a game where it's just a light-hearted thing like, you know, Pokemon, then you, you should be able to save wherever. Or, I just want you to save wherever, even though you'll probably fuck up and have to redo two boss fights because you forgot to save. What the fuck? What the fuck? Shouldn't there be something here? Uh-oh. If you remember, the block that, uh, Kami Koopa drops caused our villa to drop. Oh, how can we... Ah, the best, the best properties of being paper, you don't take falling damage. Um, so I'm assuming that it had to have happened or you would have never, like, had an escape from the village. Well, we need to find the hammer. And Goompa knows where the hammer is. Well, I I'm going to assume he was also there when the village fucking dropped. Yeah, we, uh, we were outside and we saw him. Oh yeah, that's right. Fuck. Yeah. Sorry, you Goombas all look the same. All Goombas uh, are the, the same. Actually, all these Goombas in this uh, household look fairly different from each other. Oh, great, you got an old man following All other around. Goombas pretty much look the same. Yeah. It looks like this. Why couldn't we just take the, the, the hammer that you said and just walk off with that? Can we use him like a hammer? We could try. Nothing here. Yeah. There we go. Oh boy. Now we can smack things. This will break that block. Like yellow blocks. Or trees. Or people. Especially people. Especially people. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, unlike like random objects, people will like squish out so many different things and break them. Yeah, those blocks just fell apart. What good are they? That tree just dropped a coin. What good is that? I want blood and guts and violence. <laughs> you know, just because of all the drug trip jokes that people make about Mario and just how weird Mario can be, I can see Mar- A dolly! Oh, I can see Mario turning into like a Conker style game. Very not fairly easy. Give me coins. All the coins. More. More. Alright. That'll be it for this part. We'll see you guys in part two of Paper Mario.